Something fundamentally shifted in artificial intelligence research over the past few days, and most people completely missed it. Microsoft unveiled an AI system that locks itself in a digital laboratory for 12 consecutive hours and emerges with genuine scientific discoveries complete with research papers, executable code, and peer-reviewed findings. Google released an autonomous data scientist that writes its own Python code, tests it, identifies bugs, fixes them, and keeps iterating until it solves complex business problems without any human intervention. And China's Moonshot AI dropped an open-source reasoning model capable of thinking coherently across hundreds of sequential logical steps. All of this happened within a 72-hour window. We're not talking about incremental improvements to chatbots or slightly better image generators. We're talking about AI systems that are now conducting actual scientific research, making real discoveries, and operating with levels of autonomy that seemed impossible just months ago. So let's break down exactly what just happened and why it matters far more than most headlines are capturing. Let's start with the system that genuinely shocked the research community. It's called Cosmos. It's backed by Microsoft researchers, and it represents something we haven't seen before. The first truly autonomous AI scientist that conducts complete scientific investigations from initial hypothesis through final publication-ready report. Here's how it actually works. You provide Cosmos with a research goal and relevant data sets, perhaps brain imaging scans, complex genetics data, or challenging material science problems, and then you essentially let it run unsupervised. For the next 12 straight hours, Cosmos operates completely independently. During that extended session, it systematically reads through over 1,500 published research papers to understand the current state of knowledge. It writes approximately 40,000 lines of functioning Python code to analyze data and test hypotheses. It runs comprehensive statistical analyses, evaluates multiple competing theories, and then generates a complete research report with proper academic citations and fully executable code that other researchers can verify and build upon. No humans guiding it at intermediate checkpoints. No researchers stepping in to course correct when it encounters obstacles. Just pure autonomous scientific investigation operating at a scale and speed no human team could match. In early trial runs, Cosmos actually made genuinely new scientific discoveries across multiple disciplines, including biology, neuroscience, and clean energy materials research. One particularly fascinating experiment uncovered previously unknown mechanisms for how cooling temperatures protect brain tissue from damage. When brain temperature drops, individual neurons switch into an energy conservation mode, strategically recycling existing molecules rather than expending energy creating new ones. This wasn't speculation or statistical correlation. This was a mechanistic discovery explaining how hypothermia provides neuroprotective effects. Another independent research project revealed that humidity levels beyond a specific threshold catastrophically destroy perovskite solar cells during the manufacturing process. This represented a crucial real-world production factor that human researchers subsequently confirmed through laboratory validation. Cosmos even identified what appears to be a shared mathematical rule governing how neurons form connections across completely different species from humans to mice to fruit flies, suggesting that all biological brains might follow the same fundamental wiring pattern regardless of evolutionary divergence. The discoveries kept accumulating. Cosmos pinpointed a heart-protecting protein called SOD2, demonstrating precisely how it prevents cardiac tissue scarring at the molecular level. It traced a specific DNA genetic variant that helps certain individuals resist developing diabetes by regulating a stress response gene in insulin-producing cells. The system mapped out the exact cellular moment when brain cells begin their collapse in Alzheimer's disease progression and explained why some neurons age dramatically faster than others, linking the accelerated decline to lost flypase genes that trigger the brain's immune system to inappropriately destroy healthy neurons. What makes Cosmos genuinely capable rather than just impressive is its fundamental architecture. The system runs hundreds of smaller specialized AI agents simultaneously, each handling a distinct part of the complete research process. Some agents exclusively read and summarize academic papers. Others focus on analyzing data sets and identifying statistical patterns. Still others write functioning code and debug errors. They all share access to a single unified internal memory system called a world model. 
That world model functions as a persistent knowledge base tracking everything the system has already accomplished, which approaches worked successfully, which failed completely, and what hypotheses need testing next. It's essentially a brain composed of hundreds of specialized subbrains, enabling the system to plan and execute long-horizon investigations spanning hours without losing contextual understanding or duplicating work. When independent scientists with domain expertise reviewed research reports generated by Cosmos, they found that nearly 80% of its scientific statements were factually accurate and logically sound. That's an absolutely insane accuracy rate for a system operating completely autonomously without human oversight. One 12-hour Cosmos research session produced approximately the same volume and quality of work as six months of traditional human research time. The generated reports looked structurally like early-stage academic papers, complete with properly formatted graphs, rigorous statistical analyses, and comprehensive reference citations. Reviewers consistently said reading Cosmos outputs felt remarkably like reviewing the work of a promising junior researcher, except this particular researcher can execute hundreds of parallel experiments overnight without fatigue, frustration, or diminishing returns. Of course, the system still requires human judgment at critical junctures. The optimal workflow appears to be what researchers call a scientist in the loop configuration. Human experts define the research goal and provide curated data sets. Cosmos handles the intensive computational grind of literature review, hypothesis testing, and analysis. Then human scientists evaluate which discoveries warrant further investigation and potential publication. Cosmos struggles significantly with messy or poorly labeled data sets and it cannot yet process raw image files or handle datasets larger than approximately 5 gigabytes. It also cannot accept mid-experiment instructions or course corrections. Once you launch a 12-hour research run, the system commits fully to that investigation path. But the most fundamental limitation isn't computational power or data processing speed, it's judgment and intuition. Teaching Cosmos how to recognize which ideas are genuinely meaningful and worth pursuing not just statistically significant correlations, remains an unsolved challenge. Still, this represents a genuine turning point. Artificial intelligence is now conducting legitimate scientific research with measurable, verifiable outcomes that advance human knowledge. While Cosmos focuses on discovering new biology and materials science, Microsoft itself is simultaneously thinking even bigger about AI's role in society. Mustafa Suleiman just announced something called humanist superintelligence and the framing is deliberately different from typical AGI narratives. According to Suleiman, this AI system will be designed exclusively to serve humanity's interests, keeping humans firmly at the top of the decision-making hierarchy. The explicit goal is building a kind of super-intelligent system that's bounded and constrained, not an open-ended entity with total operational autonomy, but rather a carefully controlled intelligence with human values and priorities fundamentally embedded in its architecture from the beginning. Suleiman wrote that Microsoft wants to explicitly reject the entire race to AGI narrative that dominates current discourse, even though legally Microsoft can now develop AGI systems completely independently from OpenAI thanks to a recent agreement letting them use OpenAI's intellectual property for their own AGI development projects. This means the competitive rivalry between Microsoft and OpenAI is about to intensify dramatically. Suleiman's vision frames humanist superintelligence as a deeply integrated companion that helps people learn more effectively, act more productively, and maintain cognitive performance. It's conceived as an assistant that provides both emotional and cognitive support across contexts. The same foundational system could assist in personalized healthcare delivery and accelerate scientific discovery in critical areas like clean energy development. Suleiman repeatedly emphasizes that at Microsoft AI, humans matter fundamentally more than the AI systems themselves. Their superintelligence architecture is intentionally designed to remain controllable, contextual, and explicitly subordinate to human oversight. It's positioned as the direct opposite of a runaway autonomous system, a deliberate contrast to the more open-ended ambitions driving open AI and Anthropic. Speaking of competition, there's a significant new challenger emerging from China. Moonshot AI just released Kimi K2 Thinking, and it's openly challenging the reasoning capabilities of both OpenAI's models and Anthropic's Claude. 
The company describes it as their best open source thinking model, and what makes it genuinely interesting is that it doesn't simply generate text responses. It thinks step by step through problems, leverages external tools dynamically, executes code to verify hypotheses, and reasons coherently across hundreds of sequential logical steps completely autonomously. The technical benchmarks are genuinely impressive. K2 Thinking scored 40.9% on humanity's last exam, a comprehensive benchmark containing thousands of expert level questions spanning over 100 different academic disciplines. On BrowseComp, which specifically tests continuous browsing and research capability, it achieves 60.2%, more than double the human baseline performance of 29.2%. And on Sweebench Verified, a major coding benchmark evaluating real-world software engineering tasks, it scored 71.3%. What's even more remarkable is its demonstrated ability to execute up to 300 sequential tool calls without any human input or intervention. That means the system can chain hundreds of distinct reasoning steps together, reading sources, planning approaches, searching databases, writing code, verifying intermediate results until it reaches a well-supported conclusion. Moonshot AI demonstrated this capability by presenting K2 thinking with a graduate-level mathematics problem from hyperbolic geometry. The system worked through 23 nested reasoning steps and tool calls, searched relevant academic papers, executed Python code to test conjectures, verified intermediate mathematical results, and ultimately derived the correct formula. That represents the kind of sustained multi-step planning that even top commercial models frequently struggle to maintain coherently. In practical applications, K2 thinking can build complete functional websites or word processor style editors from a single natural language prompt, handling complex front-end development work like React component architecture. It can also execute research tasks involving multiple interdependent moving parts. Then there's Google taking a completely different strategic approach with something called Datastar. If Cosmos functions as an AI scientist, Datastar operates as an AI data scientist, a system capable of taking messy, unstructured business data and transforming it into functioning analytical Python code completely autonomously. Most AI data tools currently available work exclusively with clean, well-structured SQL databases. But Datastar was architected specifically to handle chaos. CSV files, JSON logs, markdown documents, text reports, random spreadsheets scattered across cloud storage. You ask it a straightforward question in plain English, something like which products perform best in Q3 based on combined sales metrics and customer reviews, and Datastar figures out where that information actually lives across multiple data sources, writes Python code to combine and analyze it properly, tests the results for accuracy, debugs, and fixes its own errors, and returns a comprehensive answer. No human data analyst required at any stage. That's it for today, folks. See you in the next video.